Good morning, children. How was the day? Hopefully, you have practiced also. To which questions I have given, you have written the answers also. So today, let us start with the answers. Let me check you have written correctly or not. First question was, what was Mummy's real name? I know you all have written correctly. She is Mrs. Margaret March. Second one, who is the oldest of the March sisters? Who is? Yes, Meg March. Third question, why do they live without their father? Because their father is at war. Fourth question, who is the author and from which country does she belong? Louisa May Alcott is the author and she belongs from USA. Last question, who is the youngest among the four daughters? Who is children? Yes, Amy March. Now, let us continue with the next portion of the story, A Merry Christmas. So, previous day we have finished that Jo woke up first and she got her gift under the pillow and was very much excited about the gift. It was a book and the best guidebook for a pilgrim. Now, she woke Meg with a Merry Christmas and bade her see what was under her pillow. A green covered book appeared with the same picture inside and a few words written by their mother which made their own present very precious in their eyes. So you know children whenever we get any gift and if there is written any wish or anything it becomes more precious to us. Same way when they found their mother has written something on the gifts it became very precious for them. Presently Beth and Amy Oak to rummage and find their little books also. One dove colored, the other blue. And all sat looking at and talking about them while the east grew rosy with the coming day. So in this morning, early in the morning, they all woke up one by one and they got their gift and they became very excited with the gifts. And when they all started to chat on this issue, it became morning. In spite of her small vanities, Margaret had a sweet and pious nature, which unconsciously influenced her sisters, especially Jo who loved her very tenderly and obeyed her because her advice was so gently given. Girls, said Meg seriously, Mother wants us to read and love and mind these books and we must begin at once. We used to be faithful about it but since father went away and all these word trouble unsettled us, we have neglected many things. You can do as you please. But I shall keep my book on the table here and read a little every morning as soon as I wake. For I know it will do me good and help me through the day. So as the senior most make advice the sisters, how to utilize the gift. It is a book, so they should read it regularly and if regularly they read it, one day it will be finished and the message and whatever has to be learned, it would be over. And definitely it is a wise thought and advice to her younger sisters. Then she opened her new book and began to read. So Meg is a person of word. What she told immediately in action she has shown also just to give her sisters the lesson. Jo put her arm around her and leaning cheek to cheek read also with a quiet expression so seldom seen on her restless face. How good Meg is. Come, Amy, 
let's do as they do i will help you with the hard words and they will explain things if we don't understand whispered beth so slowly slowly we can see that all the words affected the other sisters also when meg started to read other sisters also attended the same thing very much impressed by the pretty books and her sister's example where is mother asked meg as she and joe ran down to thank her for their gifts half an hour later half an hour they read their books goodness only knows some poor creature come a begging and your ma went straight off to see what was needed there never was such a woman for giving away victuals and drinks clothes and firing replied hana who had lived with the family since meg was born and was considered by them all more as a friend than a servant so here one more character has been introduced she is hana so she is the housekeeper but she is not treated as a maid they are just behaving just like their friends relatives or house members and she informed about her mother absence where she has gone now she will be back soon i think so fry your cake and have everything ready said meg looking over the presents which were collected in a basket and kept under the sofa ready to be produced at the proper time so every time we find meg as a proper guide and a guardian who look after her sisters very caringly tenderly and always advising them with the right actions this mother hide the basket quick cried jo as a door slammed and step sounded in the hall so finally mother has come and with the great excitement jo cried to hide their basket because the basket they filled with the gifts which they offered to their affectionate mommy another bang of the street door sent the basket under the sofa and the girls to the table eager for breakfast merry christmas mommy thank you for our books we read some and mean to every day they cried in chorus so entering the mother only the children they just excitedly greeted their mother and informed about their overjoyed expression for the gifts Merry Christmas little daughters I am glad you began at once and hope you will keep on but I want to say one word before we sit down not far away from here lies a poor woman with a little newborn baby six children are huddled into one bed to keep from freezing for they have no fire there is nothing to eat over there and the oldest boy came to tell me they were suffering hunger and cold my girls will you give them your breakfast as a christmas present so entering the room only the mother explained why he she was absent and where she has gone and what she has faced and she told about the poor family and she asked also that her daughters would be ready to offer their breakfast as the christmas present for this poor family or not they were all unusually hungry having waited nearly an hour and for a minute no one spoke only a minute for joe explained impetuously i am so glad you came before we began may i go and help carry the things to the poor little children said beth eagerly i shall take the cream and the muffins added amy heroically giving up the articles she most liked 
Meg was already covering the buckwheats and peeling the bread into one big plate. I thought you would do it, said Mrs. March, smiling as if satisfied. You shall all go and help me and when we come back, we will have bread and milk for breakfast and make it up at dinner time. So, children, after mother explaining about the poor family, within a minute we can get the responses from the four sisters. Immediately all they get ready to offer their breakfast though they are hungry, though they waited for one hour till happily with the smiling face they are eager to offer with the poor family and remove their hard health. So today we will finish up up to here and few comprehensive questions as your assignment I am giving you today also. Try to write on your own. So this is the end of our second class. Hope you have enjoyed thoroughly and thoroughly. Take care. Stay safe. Stay at home. Bye-bye.